this Saturday on CNN. Welcome back. Every day on this show, we do this segment called The Big Eye. It's all about big ideas, innovations, and solutions to problems. And in today's Big Eye, we want to talk about a man who created what popular science magazine calls one of the top inventions of the year. Mark Stark invented a prosthetic hand that can be almost as functional as an electronic model, but at a fraction of the cost. He created it, actually, to help his friend who was in need of a prosthetic hand. And this simple yet innovative idea could wind up helping many more. Ken Paulus, who is working to market the uh, prosthetic with Mark, joins us now. And he's the vice president of business development at Edison Nation. Uh, Ken, this is really cool. Uh, first, tell us just, just a little bit more about what inspired Mark to create this. How did he do it? Well, we're, we're absolutely thrilled to be working with Mr. Stark on bringing this hand to the market. He was actually inspired by one of his best friends, Dave Vaught, as you had mentioned before, who was born without a left hand as well as part of his left arm. And he was frustrated by the fact that his friend was constantly fumbling with hooks and that when he was outside, uh, outside of work or outside in social settings that the hook was very uh, attracting a lot of attention that, that was unwarranted at the time. So he decided to go into his basement and fix the problem the best way that he knew how, which is actually build his friend a hand. Hmm. And I see uh, just when you were motioning there that you have a prop with you. So maybe you can show us or I tell do. us a little bit about how this invention works and how it compares to others on the market? Sure. So, so this is our, our first prototype that Mr. Stark actually built in his, in his uh, basement. And what it is, is a device that is a five uh, articulating finger product. So when you pull on, a, on, a, on the handle, five fingers actually articulate that allow you to grasp objects like water bottles, balls, brooms, and other devices that you just simply can't do with a hook. So what was quite interesting about this is that as Mark developed it, uh, he, actually he actually created some intellectual property around this hand. This mechanism in here, this pulley system, allows for you to pull once and have these five digits articulating, as you see right here on camera. Hmm. Uh, and so are there any limits to it? I mean, or can it do pretty much anything? Well, it can do a lot of different things. So, for example, you can pick up a water ball, as I mentioned before, and we actually have some props that can demonstrate that as we go here uh, uh, on camera. So, as you can see, the hand can, can articulate around this particular bottle here and lift up a water uh -huh. bottle. Uh, a hook can't do that. It can grab a ball, uh, for example. And I'm not as, I'm not as proficient as the inventor's uh, friend, Dave Vaught, uh, who can actually catch a ball in the air uh, wow. with this particular device. So, when will uh, it be has, on the market? It, it has uh, we expect this to be on the market between 12 and 18 months. Uh, right now, it's our goal to create this into a more manufactured ready product. The device that you see here today is actually a, a one-off prototype that's a little beat up because uh, Dave Vaught's been using it for a couple of years now. <laughs> and what about <laughs> cost? I mean, will, will lots of people be able to afford this for those in need? That's our goal. So right now in the market, you have a huge difference between the hooks that are on the market today, which average between $300 and 1000 And then you have these myoelectric hands, which are very sophisticated, amazing devices. But those products alone cost between fifteen dollars and $20,000. With the surgeries, it can be up to $60,000. So we think this is a great opportunity to create a product that fits in between the hook market and the myoelectric hand market. And that's what we think we've got here with the Stark Hand. Wow, well, that is uh, pretty impressive and so nice that he was able to help his friend. Uh, thank you, Ken. Appreciate you showing us that. And for more about this, you can Great. check out our blog at CNN.com slash alley. Drafting a new candidate for the GOP, Iowa Republicans make their pitch. But who do they want? Find out in our CNN political update coming your way next.